to another unboxing video with the Nerdy Quail. Today we're going to be unboxing a game called Fanlax. Now there's a bit of a story with Fanlax in that it's been delayed, there's been things happening, the shipments were delayed, once they started shipping things out, they found out part of the pieces were missing, and then finally, once the, all the things have been being shipped out from their Kickstarter stuff, found out that part of the board was messed up. But all in all, it's actually a good story of honesty within their Kickstarter and a commitment to actually still deliver a finished product. So, what is Fanlax? Well, Fanlax is a game that is based in the Mediterranean and kind of like around the Peloponnesian War era. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start opening up the box. I've already cut the tape on the cardboard box that was shipped in. And we're going to start taking a look. And immediately I just love how the box looks. Just with the Corinth helmet, just on the top, no words, just black and just the artwork. In addition, we also have, it looks like a siege tower piece of some sort. And we also have, let's see. Well, here's part of the pieces that we're missing. This is the Egyptian fleet. And there should be something else in here as well. Yep. Here it is. It is a signet ring of some sort. Now next, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start opening up this box. Right, we're gonna take it out. So the game itself is actually called Successors, not Famlex. Um, but Famlex has also been around for a little bit now on Kickstarter. They have a couple of other games that they've been kick, uh, put on Kickstarter as well. I've just been waiting for this game in particular for a while. So it's still on the plastic. So I am going to take the plastic off. Back in a moment. Now we're going to see exactly what we got in here. Uh, I do like the look of the box, the art style choices, and everything so far. Okay, we got a playbook here. And this should just be the, let's see, like all the scenarios and everything. Uh, just how... It's just a giant example of how the game works, in addition to some various scenarios. Games like this, which are very old school style strategy games with cardboard chits, they're kind of complicated. So here we have a very thick introduction book. This is the actual rule book and everything. It's neat. The actual time period of this game, it looks like, from what I remember, is um, after Alexander the Great, and it's supposed to be all his successors, I believe. Yeah, that looks like about right. And here we just have several just reference sheets for all the players. There's about six of them, four to five, six, yeah. Those are always in handy. And next we have the board. That's a nice big board right there. So as you can see, you've got like Europe, Mediterranean, Egypt, Africa, some of the Middle East as well. Uh, one thing I like about this map is that it's very time period appropriate feeling with the colors, but it's also easy to read. Yes, there's a lot of stuff on here, there's a lot of cities, a lot of territories, 
but it's easier to find them compared to some other um, games I have played that are similar. So I'll stick this board to the side. All right, now we have all the pieces here. So first, I'm going to just take a look here. So we have some cards here. Um, we'll just pop open these really quick. All right. So what do we got here? Cards are not in order. As in like some of them are one way, some of them are the other. Um, yeah, it just looks like it's a simple, just kind of like events type of thing, type of card. Looks like there's different, um, different themes, so that looks like it's more combat based, probably like a normal event, and then yellow, which is probably another type of event as well, and everything. In addition, it looks like we have some faction cards here for the different factions, and just to help players keep track of everything. We got like Venetia and all the different factions that were after Alexander the Great. And we have a movement table, which is the back is a lovely war elephant with all the dice. All right, next we have another deck of cards here. Uh, looking at this, we got, looks like we have a character of some sort. So it looks like we'll have like character cards here. And let me take my knife really quick that open. So we got map cards with all the diff all the cities are mentioned on here. So we got a lot of cards for that. Probably I'm not too sure what they're for yet because I haven't, don't know what the game rules are. And here are just with the Corinth helmet back just a variety of uh, uh, hero characters I take it or just generals and sat trips and or sat traps not sat trips commanders and all that good stuff all right next we will take this out we have a bunch of miniatures here got a front camera got a lot of good miniatures here uh, the quality looks pretty good too. They got numbers on them. I believe they probably correlate to all the character cards as well, but they came out looking pretty nice. Each one is really individual and different looking, so that makes it nice and easy. Step that right here. We have more miniatures in the bottom. see it looks we have more it looks like more characters it looks like some either you know, some siege weapons this is a chest of some sort and probably a wagon this will be interesting to see how all this plays out when the game actually we actually get to play the game one nice thing is that it comes with several Ziploc bags. I am a very much a huge stickler for organization. Alright, what do we got here? It looks like these are clips to hold cards up. We've got miniature bases, it looks like, for some of the miniatures. We have the dice down here. They're customized. So, some have elephants. I can't see the one with the elephant. Hold on. There we go. It's got elephants on there. Some normal dice as well. Standard array of D6s. Take that off. Alright. Now we've got more uh, just.
cardboard cutouts for all the characters. And we've got all the cardboard tokens. So all the soldiers, all the Navy ships, everything. This, as I said, this will be very interesting to see how this all comes out. And at the bottom here, we have a variety of the miscellaneous uh, cardboard cutouts. So as they were saying, uh, it was missing one of the fleets originally. So that's why they sent in um, the Egyptian fleet by itself. Um, we have the signet ring cut up. Instead, I have the actual signet ring, which I'm pretty sure is probably first player. There's a throne piece. Yeah, good old other stuff. All right, so that was successors. Just unboxing it, just seeing what we got. Uh, the game looks really fun. I'm looking forward to trying it out. And of course, uh, once I get some time and some people together, uh, we'll play, we'll, try, we'll film it, and we'll see how uh, it all plays out. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm trying to mix of using both my phone and one of my cameras, and we'll see how this goes. Uh, make sure to give this video a like, make sure to subscribe. I've got a whole other slew of stuff. Uh, I started a Twitch channel. I've done a few videos here and there. I do a lot of 3D printing projects. And I just talk about general nerdy things on my Facebook page. So make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hope to see you next time. Take care, everyone.